and it's a nice bass. This little beauty will now get a chance to breed next winter a real leg up in the wild population. And instead of floating straight back up like a lot of lures do, it'll dive down to depth and it'll just sit there. So it's actually going to hang right in front of the fish's face. So I like to actually get these things, cast them next to structure, crank them down and leave it sit there. And just a few little subtle... Oh my goodness, this thing is taking line. For all of us, there are places that hold special memories. Memories of good mates, great weather and big fish. With some places, one visit just isn't enough. Camp Island, north of the Whit Sundays and the town of Bowen, is one such special place. It took very little persuading to get Mark Bargy Bargain Quest to make the journey north once more, to specifically target large Spanish mackerel using whole wolf herring for bait. There's quite an art to doing this, but the result promises to be worth the effort. With the right tools and a little bit of practice, it's easy to make your own rig for mackerel. Nice fish. Oh, look at that big Spaniard. Okay, what we're going to show you here is how to do a basic drag service uh, on your spinning reel. Um, many people have trouble with drag systems, uh, usually being problems with lumpy drags, drag not being able to be tightened far enough. And what the hydrowave is doing is pulling fish up through the water column and up to the surface and the bait, the bait school is coming up through the, through the surface and the barra are following. So we're paying really close attention to what the sound is showing us. We're just saying, we just saw some barra come right up out of 40 feet of water. So I just let the plastic drop down four seconds and just rolled it across the surface. Basically when a, when a fish eats a lure like that, that means you're doing everything absolutely 100% correct. If you're getting them on the outside of the face, you're just nicking them, it, they're just not really wanting to eat it, they're only just having a bit of a crack. When the lure's like that, don't change what you're doing, because it's perfect, he wanted that. Awesome fish, mate. Not much light left, but um, just picked off our last fish for the day. I'm happy with that fish. Truth is, there's some great freshwater fishing in this part of the world, right on Isa's doorstep. Fish sooty ground are probably one of the unsung Australian sport fish here in Lake Julius. It's a self-sustaining population. They actually breed in here. There's thousands and thousands of them in here. <laughs> Can you believe you caught that? How hard did it pull? Very hard, like a cat. <laughs> Was that fun? Yeah. It's been referred to over the years as snub nosed dart, oyster cracker, pumpkin head trevally, and Indo Pacific permit. There are plenty of great crab imitations to choose from. For the best results, you need to make sure the pattern you select will get down to the bottom. Way back in 1997, I'd been on hand and behind the camera to witness Alan Phyllis-Kirk landing what was quite possibly the first permit successfully sightcast to on fly in Australia. None of us will ever forget that day. <laughs> well done, Bargy. Well done. <laughs> Good on you. <ya. laughs> Look at that. My first Aussie court permit. I chop it up, chop it finely, and then I'll rub it into the sand. I don't really want to feed the ludric, I just want to give it a smell, a scent, which will excite them to eat our baits. Way more important. That's enough bait. If you're out on a holiday, and you become savvy enough at it, you can get enough bait within uh, half an hour or so. These guys are absolutely sensational eating and out of this beautiful clean clear water they taste fantastic too. 
I'm really excited to talk about the new outboard motor that we have in our model range today. It's the Yamaha four stroke 200 horsepower. It's such a lightweight engine, it's gonna come in at under 230 kilos and it's gonna fit a whole range of boats that formerly weren't able to be fitted with four stroke motors in the past. In fact, the 200 is actually lighter than our 150 horsepower. So there's gonna be a, a realm of opportunities for this motor. I'm really excited. 